Good morning, Dr. Bueno, Dr. Mellinger. Uh, thank you for the opportunity to present today. My name is Asad Chaudhary, and in relation to this presentation, none of the authors have any conflicts of interest that require disclosure. So I won't rehash all the epidemiology or statistics that support the need for colonoscopy. We're all aware of them. But I'll bring up a few important points. The decline in incidence of late-stage colorectal cancer has been attributed to the widespread usage of colonoscopy screening, which increased from 20 percent in 2000 to 55 percent in 2010 among adults aged 50 to 75. Haas and Borowski showed that individual use of colonoscopy screening increases as screening capacity, i.e. the number of endoscopists, in an area increases. And Hoffman et al. showed that an increased density of primary care physicians and gastroenterologists in a given region is inversely proportional to the number of late-stage colorectal cancer diagnoses. In the early 2000s, it was estimated that about two-thirds of colonoscopies were performed by gastroenterologists, while the majority of the rest were performed by general surgeons. According to the NIH, there is a significant shortage of physicians providing colonoscopy screening, especially in underserved and in rural areas. For example, our community healthcare network has a backlog of about 5,000 colonoscopies at any given time. So the question becomes, who is qualified to perform, to perform these procedures, and how do we quantify that quality? Adenoma detection rate has become the primary quality indicator, which functions as an aggregate of other quality measures, including sequel intubation rates, withdrawal times, and the quality of the bowel preps. There are thus standard guidelines for all the aforementioned quality measures in order to maximize the ADR and ultimately reduce both the incidence and prevalence of late-stage colorectal cancer. Given the aforementioned, our main objective was to compare colonoscopy quality measures between gastroenterologists and general surgeons in a rural upstate New York healthcare system. All screening colonoscopies performed by 23 endoscopists within our healthcare network in the calendar year of 2017 were included as samples within this study. All colonoscopies were assessed for the same quality standards, including bowel prep scores, withdrawal times, and adenoma detection rates. The Boston bowel prep score was used to assess the quality of the bowel preps within our healthcare network. The scale assigns a value of 0 to 3 in each, th each of the three areas of the colon. The rating is done after all cleansing measures have been used. Withdrawal times were extracted from the EMR, which allows certain uh, points of the procedure to be recorded by the nursing staff. The times for at cecum and completion are recorded for each colonoscopy, and the difference between the two is the withdrawal time. The withdrawal times were reported as averages for each endoscopist. ADR was derived from the final pathology reports for the colonoscopies. Based on a given pathologist's specific terminology, either adenoma or serrated were used to describe any premalignant lesion, i.e. an adenoma. Any colonoscopy with greater than or equal to one adenoma was considered as positive. All other colonoscopies were negative. The ADR was then calculated as the number of positive colonoscopies over total colonoscopies performed, expressed as a percentage for each endoscopist. The averages for the colonoscopies performed, positive colonoscopies, withdrawal times, and ADR were then calculated for both surgeons and gastroenterologists. Chi-score tests were then calculated. All analyses were performed uh, with eStata software. So what do we find? In the, in the calendar year of 2017, 5,286 colonoscopy procedures were performed at our healthcare system by 14 surgeons and nine gastroenterologists. 2,677 performed by surgeons. The number of colonoscopies performed by each surgeon is listed in table one, along with the number of positive colonoscopies, adenoma detection rates, and withdrawal times. The average for each measure is also listed in table one. The number of colonoscopies performed ranged from 20 to 516, with the average being 191. Of the colonoscopies performed, the adenoma detection rate ranged from 21% to 39%, with the average being 29%. The withdrawal times ranged from 8 minutes to 24 minutes, with the average being 13.2 minutes. A total of 2,791 colonoscopies were performed by the gastroenterologists. Table 2 mirrors the data for the surgeons in Table 1 and represents the same measures for the gastroenterologist. The number of colonoscopies performed ranged from 95 to 584, with an average being 306. The ADR ranged from 23% to 42%, with the average being 29%. And the withdrawal times ranged from 7.9 minutes to 20.4 minutes, with the average being 10.7 minutes. Chi-score test analyses for the ADR and withdrawal times for surgeons versus gastroenterologists were, are listed in Table 3. 
The ADR for surgeons and gastroenterologists were essentially the same at 28.5% and 28.8% respectively, and this was not statistically significant. Gastroenterologists, however, had slightly shorter withdrawal times at 10.6 minutes versus 13.2 minutes for the surgeons. However, this difference again was not statistically significant and achieved similar adenoma detection rates. Our study has some limitations. Our sample size is small, with only 23 endoscopists, 14 surgeons, and 9 gastroenterologists performing colonoscopies. Thus, our results may not be generalizable to the greater surgeon and gastroenterology communities. In the same vein, we only followed, gastro we only followed endoscopies over a single year. Next, there was a significant variance in the amount of colonoscopies performed by the surgeons. One surgeon performed only 20, another performed only 24. Although their individual adenoma detection rates were within the expected range, it is unclear whether this would have changed with more volume for these individual surgeons. Additionally, we could have compared the Boston Bowel Prep scores averages for the surgeons and the gastroenterologists to see if that played a role in a higher or lower adenoma detection rate or withdrawal times. Higher prep scores or cleaner colonoscopies may result in better adenoma detection rates and faster withdrawal times. In sum, our results demonstrate that surgeons are on par with gastroenterologists in performing colonoscopy from a quality standpoint of both ADR and withdrawal times. With the ongoing shortage of endoscopists, surgeons can safely help lift the burden in many areas without any reduction in the quality of colonoscopy screening. In terms of future studies, or what we would like to assess additionally with the data that we have, is to analyze the complication rates within each group and between groups, uh, which is another quality indicator of any procedure that we do. Additionally, we plan to look at the provider demographics, such as the experience of a provider, meaning the number of years in practice or the volume that they have, or whether they had fellowship training as well. Lastly, our data does not take into account multiple adenomas, which is coming up in the literature at this point, an adenoma per colonoscopy, or APC. Um, even though the adenoma detection rate is considered the gold standard currently, multiple detected adenomas may represent an additional quality measure that can be used to gauge colonoscopy screening quality. Ultimately, in our own practices, in the same way that we track our complications and outcomes for the surgeries that we perform, I think it's also imperative to monitor and track the quality of the procedures that we perform, particularly screening colonoscopies. Thank you for your time. I welcome any comments or questions. Okay.